them but from that I remember I remember a big house somewhere in the home county or something it was. I think it was a great pity that they chose a really rather earthbound story for canine and company. Um, I ought to tell you first of all that I did record the signature tune for K9 and Company, which I had a, I had a whole morning set by from the, the BBC sound effects people. And I went in, and all they asked me to do was to say, K9! <laughs> and they put it on a loop. <laughs> and that was, that was the, the sick tune of K9 and Company. Um, yeah, I remember being kicked by various actors. Uh, Bill Fraser was in it. I think he kicked K9. I think he had an Alsatian. There was an Alsatian in it somewhere. I think it was a, it was a few weeks ago now we did that, so memory is not as clear as it might have been. What's it like working with the This is lovely. Beautiful, lovely actors, and so clever. Um, this, in fact, only lives about half a mile away from where I live, in Ealing. Really, it is Ealing. Um, but Liz I've known for years, and Liz is professional down to her fingernails. She's wonderful, really, really good. And looking so young. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. When we did uh, school reunion, I just couldn't believe how lovely she had gone to school. She almost looked the same. Yes, she almost looked the same. Yes. Yes. Way back when we, we worked on the Cape Island Company. Yeah. Are there any other questions for John? Sir? Yes, sir. John, is it true that you used to arrange a uh, set questions on Mastermind? I never did. Is that something you enjoyed? I enjoy that very much indeed. I spent a lot of time in my reference library, local reference library. Um, but there were gentlemen coming in with Macintoshes and things to get out of the frame. So I thought it was all a bit strange. But yes, I could ask questions on any general knowledge subject other than sport, because the BBC had their own strand called the question of sport, which was still on, so I know nothing about sport whatsoever. But uh, yes, I, it was great, it was great fun. Kept my grey cells going, which was good. Are there any questions to do? There's one thing I want to ask you actually. I know she's got a copy of Humphrey to go is, is, is that, are you likely to write a, a book for your fellow Tom Doctor? Am I likely to write a book? I don't think so. I, I did a one man show called The Dog's Life. Uh, what else? Um, which was in two parts. Part of, the first part is from drama school upwards to the first cast in Doctor Who, and then the second part is all the Doctor Who stories. Uh, that went down pretty well. Uh, I, I can revive that at any time. How long have we got? We've got to finish there as soon as. No, 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 no. no. Um, but writing a book. Um, I don't think so, really. No, I did not ask. Have you been asked? I like it? cookery books and things. Right. I'm, I'm a cook. Uh, and I'm actually, I have two professionals. Uh, I, I actually do have two professions. I'm an accredited wine teacher. I'm a wine educator. What is that for exactly for those that may not be familiar with that? Well, you study at the Wine and Spirit Education Trust in London. You get a diploma. Good enough, and um, then that qualifies me to teach. And I teach for an outfit called the Wine Education Service in London, and equally, I give tastings to wine clubs, and cruises, luxury cruises, and things like that. So, um, it's quite fun, quite fun from that point of view. Wine is so interesting, it's always changing, always changing. Um, do we have perhaps just one more question at all? I'm also a magistrate. You're also a magistrate? Yes. But that's on the pen. Okay, well, thank you very much, John, for coming down today. Thank you very much for sitting in the seat. Yeah, thank you very much.